Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, the Art Bank of South Africa is a national program of the Department of Arts and Culture, which will be hosted by the National Museum in Bloemfontein. Now, the vision of the Art Bank is to promote, foster, and stimulate a vibrant market for the collection of South African contemporary visual art. 60 artworks on show represent artists from seven provinces and in South Africa. And Nontom Somi, who is the project manager of the Art Bank, is in the loft to tell us more about this exciting initiative that will be aiding more artists to build sustainable careers, some of which we've had on the show as well. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Katie. Firstly, congratulations on your job as a curator. And I think you are the first black female president of the KZN Arts Society. Yeah, so that's the KwaZulu-Natal Society of Arts yeah. in Durban. Uh, but that was back in 2014. So uh, it was a really interesting thing how that happened because at the time I was the regional coordinator for another organization, which is the Visual Arts Network of South yeah. Africa. And they, they were going through some hard times and they called me up and said, could we nominate you to be on the council? Yes. <laughs> so I was like always willing to serve. Um, I joined the council and then a year later I was the first black female president Incredible. of the organization. Yeah, so that was a really, really interesting um, time in my life because it's an organization that looks at visual arts, craft, and has a killer um, cafe. So it's Amazing. got a beautiful um, uh, energy about that space in, yeah. in Durban, in Glenwood. I have to tell you, one of my lifetime fantasies and one of my dreams is to curate an art gallery, but I cannot even draw a stick man. So how does one <laughs> become an art curator? Were you ever an artist and where did your love of art come from? So my, my, actually, my background is really weird in that in my family I was supposed to be the doctor. Yeah. <laughs> so, but the one thing that I had going for me was that my family was really interested and it was very important for them that the children get educated. Yeah. So, yeah. So as I grew up, I realized that my drawings and my small little designs of fashion things um, could become something. Yeah. So when I left school, I decided to study fine arts at the DUT. Yeah. And really, um, my family really took well to that, even though they didn't understand what does what is fine art and what does that mean and how will I ever find a job in that. Um, but uh, my mother supported me through it, through Beautiful. the decision. And, and then I worked in corporate with Mr. Price Home. Yeah. Um, and that's where I got the commercial bug. And yeah. yeah, so then my career just spiraled and spiraled until I found okay. myself as the project manager manager yeah. of the Art Bank of South Africa. Well, you were obviously destined for great things. <laughs> but I think that's such an interesting comment that you made earlier, because I think parents do panic a lot about their mm. kids when their kids want to be musicians or ballerinas mm. or artists, because I think it's so difficult for people in the arts to sustain a career to make money out of it. So I think yeah. that's where this amazing Art Bank steps in. Yeah. How, do you, how are you guys aiming to help young artists that that do want to kind of sustain themselves with the arts yeah so it's a really interesting program that is brought by the department of arts, of arts and culture through the mzansi golden economy yeah. um, strategy and um, the idea is that we lease work so we buy work directly from artists okay. and then we'll lease it out to government offices or private companies so the revenue we generate from the rentals goes back into the program so that we can buy more work from artists that is absolutely <laughs> genius. Now, yeah. who's getting money from that? Will the artist have his work rented from him? Or, no, the artist, you pay full price for the piece. So we buy the artwork and we okay. take it on as the art bag. Okay. And then over a two-year lease uh, time, uh, then the company, whoever has the artwork, pays us so that we go back into buying more work from other artists. So Amazing. the idea is to buy directly from the artist so the artist gets the money directly, um, which... Uh, we found also helps in them buy more materials, developing their work better, um, to also pay for like life's expenses, which is a major thing. Um, but then it also goes back to buy more work. And then the idea is that over time, the program itself becomes self-sustainable. That is absolutely yeah. genius. So, I mean, I was wondering what would the difference be between the art bank and a gallery, yeah. but it's actually a bank. <laughs> yeah. But the investment is the art. Yes. So that's the great thing. So we, we actually, although the focus is buying directly from the artist, mm. we also do get uh, work from 
uh, galleries who represent okay. artists directly. So we don't deal with the third part, like a, a third level. Um, so we just, if we, it's either the artist or the uh, gallery that's represented yeah. them directly. So that's a really great thing. And we have such an amazing variety of artwork in our collection. Oh. And we look at uh, various things, like we look at the theme, we look, in, but they have to be emerging artists yes. because we're looking at that. And the technical, the work must be technically sound because we must face it, it needs to go up on a wall yeah. somewhere in somebody's office. Yeah. Um, and then also we're looking at the materials that they're working with and some, as you can see, some of the images in the background there. This is a work they're by incredible. a young black female artist from Durban called Talente Kom. I mean, how do you find these artists? Yeah. So last year, we created a system where we invite all artists, every artist in South yeah. Africa, to submit work to us so that we consider it. And then we have a nine-member committee, which is from really experienced people in the <clears> arts <throat> industry, also the Department of Arts and Culture and um, my the museum that I yeah. fall under. So they sit and they look at the, uh, the criteria and they look at the work and then they select the works that are. Are to be purchased and they recommend it to us and myself and my team to buy those works. Incredible. Yes. I love art and I really do love supporting young emerging uh, and obviously South African artists. How do you ascertain a value for a piece? That's quite difficult yeah. because I mean how it's like uh, how long is a piece of string but I mean how can you decide the, the price? So what we've decided we've debated this and what we've decided is that the asking price of the artist is yeah. the, the the price we go with. Okay. So we find that it's a bit tricky. It's a tricky or slippery slope if yeah. we try and negotiate um, any prices with the artists. So we respect the artists, and if they say this is the price and the amount of their work, then we go with that. Yeah. Uh, but we do try to be responsible in the industry and looking at the artist's career going forward. In that we don't want to jeopardize them in um, advising them advising them um, wrongly when it comes yeah. to pricing their work sure. because they might outprice themselves in the future yeah. um, so we just take all those considerations together but yeah so far it's been working pretty well well I don't live in a government <laughs> building but if you're ever looking for fresh walls to hang all of the art banks yeah. paintings on you can come to me yeah. I absolutely love your work thank well, you so much well at some point it will be private companies as well okay good <laughs> <laughs> after the break we prepare a flavorful chicken and spinach potato bake plus we preview afternoon express's favorite features of the brand new LG nano cell